my last day here in Jimbarong. I am heading to Ubud today. I think it's about uh, 80 miles from here maybe. Um, it's around uh, 11.30 right now. I have to check out in about 30 minutes. I just actually booked my hotel this morning on the fly and I actually really enjoy doing it like this. I feel like it's more exciting. Um, there's less stress to have to book everything all at one time um, and it's so time consuming to do that. And uh, you don't really get to really decide if you love a place and you want to extend for a couple days and spend more time there. So I highly recommend you do it this way. Okay, so I just got dropped off at some like random coffee plantation by our bed and breakfast host. I hope he's still waiting for me. I'm not sure. Um, he just told me to go in and enjoy. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, whilst I was here, I was informed that they have a type of cat that uh, they make coffee from their poop. And uh, it's like, 50,000 rupiah to, to try some, so I just had some, but uh, these are the cats here. I don't know what they're called, um, but apparently they're nocturnal, so they're sleeping right now. That's after it's dry, then they have to pick the seed out, pick the shell off of that, and then it looks like this when it's done. It takes about 45 minutes. Yeah. 45 minutes, yeah. Terima kasih. but the people, the people make this place. It's insane how nice everyone is. Everyone is willing to help you. Everyone wants to help you. They want to help you so bad, like they'll go out of their way to help you. The cab to get to my inn, my bed and breakfast, turns out there were two, um, Bail Bali places. One is Bail Bali House, one is Bail Bali Inn. And I did not know this. I went to Bail Bali House, of course. It's telling me telling me that I have a mile to walk on my GPS. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a while, but I'm just gonna suck it up and do it. Like I'm gonna be a total BA and like get it done and not pay for another taxi. And the navigation around here sucks ass. Like, even if you have a SIM card, 
it's just horrible. Like, you can get data fine, like, no problem, but the navigation aspect, no. Like, it'll tell you wrong, like, every time. Like, every time. I went the wrong way, I passed, like, where I was supposed to be, and then I kept asking on the locals, I asked, like, three different people and, like, one huge group of guys. They're all men, and they're all super nice. All wanted to help me out, and they're like, here, go here, go here. So I'm, like, following all their directions, and then this one, the last guy was like, go up a hill, it's like 200 meters, go up this hill, and, um, you'll see it, it's on the other side of the road. So I crossed the road, and, um, I don't know how far 200 meters is, because everything that I know in the U.S. is in feet. So I'm just trying to, like, guesstimate, and, um gets at the top of the hill I still haven't seen it and I'm like pouring sweat pouring sweat I'm in a skirt like pouring sweat and two huge backpacks one on the front one on the back and I'm like I cannot do this anymore like the weight is like so heavy and so I set everything down and I just like take a few deep breaths I'm, like literally about to like have a breakdown like not a full-fledged breakdown, but, like, about to start crying, like, where the hell is this place? Like, I cannot do this. I cannot do this anymore. So I asked, like, one last person, it was, like, a, a lady, and I was, like, please, can you help me? Like, do you know where Bail Bali Inn is? And she's, like, no, I'm sorry. And I'm, like, okay. I'm, like, walking away, like, thank you. And she's, like, oh, oh, Bail Bali, Bail Bali, yeah, yeah, yeah. 200 meters other way on the other side of the road and I'm like oh, really on the other side like the side that I was already on I don't see anything I'm like getting so fed up and I'm about to call a grab just to like take me there even though it's like 200 feet away somewhere like I just don't know where it is like, oh dumb me like let me look at the um, the number so it's like 29 something street and I'm like looking and I'm at 33 and then I go further and it's like 31 and I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god is this right like am I about to find this place finally and I found it and there it was 29 little tiny alley for the bed and breakfast is so hard to find and, and I met um, Mr. Arca who is amazing like he sat down outside with me after he checked me in for like 30 minutes on my front porch area just talking to me getting to know me and then he asked about my dad and my dad passed away two years ago almost and I don't know why but I just was feeling like so close to him like in that moment I don't know why I just started crying he was like oh no no I'm sorry to ask I didn't mean to upset you and it's like, no, no, it's okay, I just miss him, and, you know, he's a good, special person, and I started showing him photos of my family, and, um, he was, I think he was just very touched by that. He was like, oh, do you want to, like, go to the rice terraces, and, uh, I can take you, and we can see these, uh, kukunan, uh, birds, um, later, and he was, like, telling me about this legend, um, about them like landing in the trees and stuff. Oh, I can take you to the coffee plantation too. And like, you want to go now? I'm like, okay, sure, yeah. He's like, do you need anything? And I just like, I just bought a water, had some water, and uh, we just went. I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't eat lunch. I just wanted to have an experience with Mr. Arca. I didn't eat anything. I didn't care. Um. Whatever I could do to have this experience, I was going to take it and just figure it out. Like, suck it up. Like, I'm not going to die if I don't eat. I went to a coffee plantation first, and that's where I had the tasting. And uh, then I went on the swing. And then he took me up further to the um, higher viewpoint of the rice terraces. And it was like sunset, so it was like so beautiful. And then after that, we rode through the sunset. Such a beautiful ride to where all the birds landed in the trees. And then we rode back to uh, what I call home now. This is home. It feels like home. I feel at home here. Um, and Mr. Arca feels like my dad. And actually, he drove me back here to go to the bathroom. And then we went to dinner together. 
and he paid for me. And I'm like, no, 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 like, I pay for you, like, you drove me around all day, I pay for you, and he's, no, no, you can pay for me tomorrow. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna have a dinner date tomorrow, like, which is cool with me, I'm, I'm good for that. So then he dropped me off, he's like, okay, good night, good night, and I said, here's 50,000 50, rupiah, which is nothing for me, like, like, four dollars or something, it's not that much. He's, oh, no, 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 I cannot accept. I said, yes, yes, yes. I said, you drove me around everywhere all day. Like, come on, like, take the money. And he said, no, 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 my pleasure. And he had a pocket in the front of his shirt, so I just stuffed it in there. And um, he was very grateful. And I know what people say about, like, Americans and over-tipping and, like, everybody feels guilty for tipping, but... Um, and then that people like us are ruining Bali for everyone else because tipping is not like a huge culture here. But these people work really hard for what they have. And tipping like $4 of your money is not going to like kill you and it's just going to help them. So like I'm all for it if you get outstanding service. Like I didn't have to pay for a cab like all day and he drove me around all these places like three different places he drove me and he didn't ask for a single penny like I'm not just gonna not like try to give him some money or tip him as for for just gas and he paid for my dinner like I had to give him something you know I'm excited for what the day holds tomorrow with him um it should be like an awesome day if he's in it it's gonna be awesome came back here to my bed and breakfast room or my homestay is what they call call them here and took a shower outside under the full moon and the clouds overhead and the palm trees and the wind and all I can hear is this like Balinese music and I can still hear it now like it's still going on like literally it's still going on but it was just like I can't even describe the experience of showering outside at nighttime under a full moon in the tropics with all these tropical plants and palm trees around you and the full moon is so bright that you can see these and just to hear this Balinese music in the background is like a total, total dream. It's insane. I can't get over this place. Like, these are my, these are my thoughts, like, right now, I just, like, I keep, like, walking around talking to myself, like, oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm in love with this place. Like, I love it here. And, like, Jim Baron was like, eh, it's okay. Like, I wasn't in love with it. It was busy. I didn't get, like, a great vibe. The hotel I was staying at was okay, like, good for the price, but nothing like this, like, this place is so amazing, like, I cannot say it enough, I cannot get over it, and, like, the people, oh, the people, like, forget the traffic, like, the people, they are so amazing, like, this, that's what makes this place so special, is the people, and, like, the architecture around here is, like, so stunning, and it's everywhere, everywhere. You're just riding around, like the sun setting, and there's rice paddy fields, and there's rice terraces, and palm trees, and like just this Balinese like architecture like everywhere. It's incredible. The Balinese men with like their skirts on, um, bathing in these like little streams, like it's so gorgeous like I can't describe it enough and I wasn't sure if a place like this would still exist here but I can tell you guys that it does like you just have to look for it uh, there's more to discover here and this is just the beginning so let's have another amazing day tomorrow like, I hope you guys are enjoying this because I'm, I'm really enjoying like making this for you and um as, as busy as Bali is, like everyone says, it's for a reason, and they're really correct. Like, there's no place like this. Not that I've seen so far, so. We'll keep digging. We'll dig deeper. 
Good night, guys. See you tomorrow.